chili, and cornbread have been joined in the bonds of holy matrimony since the dawn of time. Today, this classic combo truly becomes one in this chili cornbread skillet. Let's start by browning our ground beef over medium high heat. We won't need oil for this, guys, because it's a non-stick skillet. We just jumping right in. Break it down, break it down. We don't want any pink, so we're gonna wait till it all gets brown. All right, this only takes a few minutes to cook through. All right, from here, we're gonna add one packet of our McCormick chili seasoning mix. Throw it right over. And make sure everything gets brown, everything gets chiliized. Mm. It's not a word, but I'm just gonna go with it. And on top of that, we got some Cam brand kidney beans. Throw that right on top. I got my tomatoes. Toss those on top too. Even it all out with some water. So we're gonna stir up all that spicy, beefy goodness. We're gonna bring that to a boil. Reduce the heat to low. Cover that up so that heat can make our flavors meld together. And that's how you make chili. But we're not stopping there. We're gonna grab a medium-sized bowl and add some corn muffin mix. Just throw it all in there, all the mix. We got some milk. And we got an egg. And that's all you need. Give that a good mix. This is the texture right here we wanna see. It's fine if it's a little lumpy, that's what we want. Okay, everyone's gonna remember where they were the day we added cornbread to the chili. Hold on your hats, people. That's beautiful right there, that is, that is nice. Ooh. Bloop. Now that we've blooped that, cover it up. Don't touch it, just cover it up. Cook it for 10 to 15 minutes until that cornbread is cooked through. And uh, I guess we should let it, let it cook. Oh, look at that, here we go. Ooh, I'm no longer the best looking corny thing in this house. Let's top this baby with some shredded cheddar cheese. Do not be afraid of the cheese. We're gonna smother it in that cheese. All right, some cheese for cornbread, some cheese for me. And then we're gonna take some sliced green onions. Just garnish that up in there. Some nice color on top of that. We're gonna cover it up, let that cheese melt over it, and then you're ready to serve. Cheesy, beefy, Moist and pleasy, all in just one skill. Make sure to check out the Flavor Maker app. You'll find all the Flavor Maker videos and tons of delicious recipes. You can even scan your McCormick spices, add them to your digital spice rack, and create shopping lists, plus a ton of other cool features that I haven't even explored yet. Have fun cooking, guys.